Many of us, travel season is here, and as we search for fun things to do in our vacation destinations, Dr. Ashley Stevens with Cabell County Schools has a suggestion to apply that same skill set right here at home. Thanks so much for joining us again, Ashley. Yes, thank you for having me. Okay, so talk a little bit about researching travel and make it fun while we're home, like a staycation. Right. Absolutely. Yes. So we, as people, we get into the routine where we go to the same places. You have your, you know, three or four favorite restaurants. You have your two or three favorite things to do on the weekends. And we miss a lot of things. Huntington and Cabell County are, you know, growing up like crazy. There are new offerings all the time. And some things maybe you would really love if you knew that we had it right here at home. Yeah. Um, so my suggestion is to do the same type of research that you would do if you were going to a destination. You, we always find out like what kid friendly things sure. are local what's the best place to eat you're on Yelp you're at the visitors bureau you're checking out all these websites so if we apply that here I have a sneaking suspicion that we will find new things to do I think that sounds really fun and people don't think that way right when they're you know going to be home it's even just for a weekend okay where can we find this kind of information about local events in those fun places that we may not have seen we are super fortunate because we have convention and visitors bureaus right here we have the Huntington one and then we have one in Barbersville and then if you really you know if you're willing to stretch out what home looks like a little bit there's also like the West Virginia tourism site sure. um, but for sure go check these out the uh, Visitors Bureau in Huntington has a travel guide like, would we ever order a travel guide right, from our for hometown? Huntington, right. No, but I feel like we should. Yes. Um, and so you can check that out. They also, if you stop in the uh, into their like physical brick and mortar shop, there are pamphlets and weekly, you know, schedules of all the cool things. They have an events calendar um, where you can see them in person or you can check them out online. You can get brochures to everything going on, and they're like a, a hub sure. for all the cool. And things. that's at Heritage Station. It is. Yes. And you know, it's one of those things when you're on a vacation and you stop at a rest area and. A new place you walk in and you always grab those pamphlets to look at in the car same kind of thing but here at home just here at home Bring and we home. have one in Barbersville as well yeah um, and so you can check out all those things they have great calendars so if you just know like we're not going out of town this weekend we're gonna be here but we've got some downtime hop on there and see what's going on you might catch something last minute that would be perfect for your family okay how do we get those kids involved because we're all parents and we're all trying mm -hmm. to keep them active and um, we don't want to hear those words I am bored <laughs> they go Ooh. right through you <laughs> They do, they do. I always answer with, you are suffering from a lack of imagination. Uh, but yes, kids want to do things that they have chosen. The concept of choice, even if you like hand select the three most perfect educational opportunities that you want, if they get to pick out of that selection, all of a sudden they're in. So I would, depending on their age, um, take them in and let them, you know, pull things off of right. these racks and, and, and pull information. Have them do online research. You can help them with that and talk about those kind of skills. Um, and let let them help choose. I have seen online, and this is one of my favorite things, a family got together and they were going on a big vacation and the kids got to present where they were going to go and then they voted on it. If you have the option of doing that, even if it's just an afternoon, if they get sure. to say this is where I want to go and justify it, this is a fantastic sneaky learning opportunity. And maybe um, a little family Competition, competition there. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. You can vote for everybody but yourself. Right. <laughs> but well, let great them suggestions. Yes. It's stuff that people don't think about. You can have a staycation and do things right here at home. We have people who are coming here. So how silly for us to miss opportunities that they have traveled really far to get to enjoy. And especially if you have family or friends coming into town. Yes. This is a perfect way to plan that little. Absolutely. Weekend. Okay. Dr. Ashley Stevens, thanks so much for joining us. Yes. Thank you for having me.